Right, this is a guide to an Arduino project, including a 3D printed robot, which will be integrated with a depth camera. So a depth camera is a camera where for each pixel you see in the screen, you get the coordinates of its location. And it has these servo motors, which servo motors means that I can give it a specific angle and the servo motor will move to that specific angle that I've given it. So basically I have a few motors where I can control this robotic arm, but I want to just click on a specific pixel that I see and I want the robot to move to that specific pixel. So I can actually click on the object, I can put it here far away, I can double click on it and the robot will stand right in front of it, ready to pick it up. That basically is done. If you want to have a robot moving to a specific point, you need to use inverse, inverse kinematics. Um, now I have all the code for this. I'm going to upload it. All you need to do to run it is you need an Intel depth camera of D435 and you need to print this uh, robot, which I'll add the files and the uh, YouTube video of assembling it. But I would suggest uh, building, if you're building this project yourself, I would suggest getting a different robotic arm. I mean, I will have this in the description how to build it, but you can get bigger robotics arm. And the reason is, is that the range of this camera only starts to actually work at a distance of 15 centimeters. Now this can only reach 20 centimeters. So only five centimeters that can actually work. So my suggestion to people doing this project is get a big robotic arm, make sure you're using a camera which works well. This is an Intel one, there's some Microsoft ones and uh, make sure you have a robot with good servo motors, which you'll give them an angle and they'll move directly to there. They control the movement well. These are a little cheapish, so the movement is a little uh, fragile. You tell it to move to a specific angle and it doesn't really move to that angle, so uh, not optimal. So um, that's one. So basically the first step is assembling the robot and putting the servo motors. The servo motors can only move to 180 degrees in some cases so you have to make sure that the movement of the robot and the motors are in sync and they can move together. Um, you finish assembling it, you connect the Arduino board and you make sure that it moves around to all the angles that you want with a very simple code. Uh, that code is called angle, I'm uploading it to the git that's stage one. Stage two is to integrate the camera, the depth camera. You have to make sure that you're putting it in a specific location since the depth camera is now locating each pixel and you'll want to know those pixels relative to the base of the robotic arm that you have because you're going to have to do some inverse kinematics to make sure that the arm can grasp any item that you hold. Um, and so to do that, if you move the camera each time, you're going to have to do the measurements each time, which is why I bolted it down to this board. So the image that you see here is basically always relative to um, a specific distance to the base of the arm. Now, the next stage is integrating it with image processing. I used uh, an algorithm called Jolact, which has been, uh, which was developed in MIT. It's um, based on YOLO. Um, now, the problem with that is that you need a powerful GPU to run your LACT. It's basically a real-time segmentation algorithm. I'll add it in the description. And what it can do is it can basically, um, it can say exactly in what pixel a specific image is. Um, I'm going to add a robot where I show uh, that robot in action. I don't have the GPU here right now. I ran it in the lab. Um, so you could see it in action, you can see the code as well, and you can make that yourself. Um, but I think the real uh, goal here at the end is to make sure that it works on like a Jetson um, NVIDIA card, because this is connected to a computer, it can't actually move around. But the real thing that we should strive to do is have these kind of robotic arms which are independently moving, they can have wheels, they can have a battery, and they can sort of move around. Um, I'm not there yet, I'd be interested to know uh, if you would get there, um, but I'd like, it would be great if you could just use the code 
uh, that I've uploaded to sort of jump over the first steps and um, let's see where this goes.